What's up, Nail Geeks? I am back again with Polish Pickup May 2020, and this month I have 31 items to show you all. I'm trying to keep this video as short and sweet as possible, which is what I prefer my style to be at. So um, while I did exceed 30 minutes again this month, um, it's for a good cause as I've got some awesome things to show you all. I am so excited. So without further ado, let's get started. First up, we've got Alchemy Lacquers. She brings us Dark Side, described as a vampy dark blue with green blue purple pink shifting shimmer and a scattered linear holographic finish this is inspired by dark side skittles price is 11.50 and there is a cap of 125 us and 10 uk bottles so this one has a crelly like feel to me in that it definitely builds up to um, a deeper darker base color kind of like a jelly but it does have um, a somewhat creamy feel to it on application it has a lovely feel to those brush strokes and for opacity on it, I'm gonna suggest two coats. I think most will be just fine at that. And you'll see here in just a moment on that second coat, it plumps out very nice, has that really nice glowy type feel with it. Um, I actually, the maker for this brand sent me a bag of dark side Skittles and I'd never had them before. And they're actually very tasty. I do like Skittles, but I'd never heard of dark side. I guess I've been uh, living under a rock, but um, they're awesome. And this polish matches that bag so well. So you can see here on that second coat, that's exactly plumped and perfect and I'm good. Now this one does dry down a little bit on the flat side. So you, once again, you are seeing a glossy top coat applied here on the final shot. And at extreme angles, you'll see that really nice purple shift come out. Um, a little bit of a glowing factor here and um, a bit of a sparkled finished too. And new to the channel for my polish pickup series is AP Pila. Um, I am very familiar with her plates, as you can see here, referencing my hand, how um, the size is. If you are familiar with um, like uber chic plates and whatnot, this is about the size of those. So um, really nice, cute images on here. When I saw the maker spoiler post, I saw this plate and I was like, that is going to be mine. And then it turns out I reviewed it. So I went a little crazy with my actual nail art ideas with it. So um, you guys are just going to have to forgive me. Now, I want to know if you're new to stamping, please note that there is a plastic cover on the plate. So just peel that sucker off and then you can go ahead with your stamping. So I know that seems kind of obvious for those of you who are new. Um, just note, definitely want to take off that, that little cover first. So the brand also brings us a stamping polish. This is Sweet Pink and is going to be nine on release. Cap on this one is 80 US and 20 UK with it. So really, really quick for the sake of being super efficient in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how it performs stamping. Now the plate that she offers is very, very well etched. So um, it is just really finely cut into for those images. So honestly, I think just about any stamper should work with it. It performed amazingly for me. Now I did have a little bit of an issue with my images um, coming up with not super clean stamps. I wanna note that with everything going on right now, I do not have pure acetone on hand. I have been using um, just an over-the-counter acetone, unfortunately, but I want to really note that performance issues that you might see on this polish on my nail art is not from the stamping polish itself. It is because of the fact that I'm not able to clean my plates properly. And Baroness X brings us Sweet Freeze. This is described as a medium orchid with purple, pink, bronze to gold, green shifting shimmer and tiny hollow flakes. This is inspired by the Skittles Cooler Ice Cream Bars. Price is 12 and there is no cap on it. So this is a gorgeous, what I would consider a true orchid type of shade. It's a little bit pinky, it's a little bit purpley, um, but in my opinion leans more of a pinker shade to it, but it's orchid, so kind of right there in the middle. Now this one does have quite a bit of a jelly-like feel on application, however it does have a bit of squish to it on those brush strokes. So personally I'm going to recommend three normal to thin coats with it for full opacity and when you build it up you'll get that really nice glowing factor from that shimmer. At extreme angles you can see that gold and green color roll to the shimmer but in indoor lighting and bright lights like what you see on the video you'll get that really nice purplish type of um, glow happening here. Now the hollow flakes in this one are of the very smaller size, that really nice fine dusting particle appearance with them um, in a very scattered fashion. So here on that third coat, you can see, I think that th at this point it plumped out really nice and it really exploited the shimmer here. So lots and lots of glow happening with it. I think this is one of those shades that are um, universally flattering. I think it's gonna pop on just about any skin tone. 
if you've got warmer to deeper skin tones, I think it's really going to pop on you. Um, I'm very picky with pinks and orchids and all that good stuff. And I feel like this is one of those shades that really popped on myself too. So here on the final hand shot, you are seeing a glossy top coat applied. And next we have Baroness X's Acetone Antidote in the scent Violet Sweets, inspired by Chowards of Violet Candy. And this is scented in a violet scent with candy notes. On smelling it, when I first got it in, it definitely has a candy note to it, and it definitely has a violet scent to it. So really interesting. I personally have never had the candy that it's inspired by, but it's very pleasant, not overpowering, not too sweet, and just right with that violet note to it. And Blush Lacquers brings us here Fishy Fishy, described as a royal blue curly base with a sea of red, orange, gold shifting multi-chrome flakes and a pink, orange shifting shimmer. This is, this is inspired by Swedish Fish. Price is $10.75 and there is no cap on it. So this has a very, very creamy feel on application, really nice self-leveling with it, but it does have just the slightest little bit of squish to it too. Um, though I would still classify this as um, more of a curly, but leaning a little bit more on the cream side um, for application. On this one, I'm gonna suggest two coats for full opacity on it as it just really pops on the nail and it plumps out very nicely in my opinion. On that second coat, I do feel like my macro shots on this one were being a little bit shy with the shimmer, um, so definitely know that it is there. It does kind of get a little overpowered with that base color, however, um, in person it's, it is just a touch more noticeable than what my swatch pictures had. So here on the final shot you can see a glossy top coat applied. I am good to go, nice and plump appearance happening here, and that base color is very, very flattering. And next we've got by da Danny Viana. This is Zombie Rainbow, described as a curly base packed with multicolored metallic micro flakes. This is inspired by the limited edition Halloween bags um, of zombie skittles. Price is $11.50 and there's a cap of 200 US and 10 UK bottles. So per usual, we have a very creamy style application happening with this one too. Um, really lovely coverage going on. For the most part, I think most people will be able to get away with two coats for full opacity on it. It does self-level very nicely, really satisfying on those brush strokes. Now, I do want to know, I think on the video you can kind of see them. Um, I had a little bit of trouble getting my lens to focus on my macro shots on this one. Um, just because those little flecks, they are definitely there and very noticeable in person, but they are of the very tiny variety of those little specks. So um, in person you can see them, they are multicolored, they're really cute against that gray base, um, but they are just a little bit subtle because they are small. So here on the final shot, once again, glossy top coat, and I am good to go. And next we've got by Vanessa Molina. This is Wildberry, described as a blue to purple thermal with violet shimmer and iridescent flakes in purple to blue to pink. This is inspired by Tropical Skittles. Price is 13 and there is no cap on it. So this one has a very jelly-like feel to me on application, though it does build up quite easily on the nail. So for opacity on this one, I'm going to suggest between two and three coats, depending on how you polish, um, and definitely depending on your nail length too. So on this first coat here, it starts off just a little bit on the very true to jelly-like style. But here on that second coat, you can really see it's starting to pop. Um, I feel like when I was working on this one, please keep in mind I am in Texas, so it is really warm over here this time of year. I'm always running warm at this point and I've been baking a ton, so of course that doesn't help. But I feel like when I was working on this one that I saw three colors on it. So you can see here on the full hand shot, there's a really warm tone happening on my nail beds, and then there's that intermediate transition shade of like, just like a medium blue. And then when it gets very cold, um, I'm seeing that purple happening. So personally, I think I'm gonna classify this one as a tri-thermal. Um, with the more obvious, you know, lighter blue to purple on it. But I think the ice water shot is giving you guys a better idea of that kind of middle type of shift happening here. And Cameo Colored Lacquers brings us Orange You Glad I Had Chocolate. Described as a warm chocolatey brown jelly base full of red to green shimmer, semi-linear holographic sparkle, and holographic micro flakes. This is inspired by a shimmery photo of beautiful chocolate orange flavored gin. P.S. I did not know that was a thing. Price is $11.50 and there is no cap on it. So this one has a lovely formula to it. It feels very much like a jelly, true to the official description. However, it builds up very quickly to opacity. So on the second coat here in just a moment, you'll see it's very smooth on those brush strokes. I had no issues with it. 
And in the final look, you'll see here in just a moment, the shimmer is pretty strong on this one. So at angles, you'll see that nice green type of color roll playing at the edges of your nails. For the most part, in indoor and bright lights, like what you see on the video, you'll see that nice reddish, almost copperish type glow really standing out against that chocolatey type of base really nice so this one dries down a little bit on the flat side so personally to really exploit those little sparkles and the shimmer i'm going to recommend a glossy top coat with it just because i was feeling a little bit extra i took it up to a third thin coat though as you guys saw just a moment ago at that second coat i thought it looked just fine um, but i really wanted to get this one to pop and i just wanted to see what it would look like at that third coat so here you can see it just kind of deepens out that chocolate base but Honestly, I think between two or three coats and you're going to be just fine. So here, once again, there's a glossy top coat and the final look here and easy peasy, nice glowy type of chocolatey look. And Crystal Knockout brings us Lady Lolly. This is described as a thermal that goes from bubblegum pink when cool to a soft gold when warm with a, with a subtle white shimmer and matte glitters in pink and yellow. This is inspired by Princess Lolly from Candyland. Price is 11 and there is no cap on it. So this one has a very much curly like feel to it. There is quite a bit of squish on those brush strokes, but it really plumps out very nicely on the second coat in my opinion. I thought both colors to this one were really, really flattering. I really enjoyed this. Um, I kind of wish I'd, I see more yellow and pink thermals. I think that's a really fun one and the little glitters in this really pop against it. So. I didn't really feel a need to go fishing or anything like that for the glitters. Um, I had decent payoff on them. Um, for the most part, you'll get a nice, very scattered appearance on your nail. And here, going in with the ice water shots, you guys can see it's a very soft transition from that pale yellow to that pale pink overall. Um, but I do think it is obvious, and it's just a nice, soft type of springy shade. And Cupcake Polish brings us Rock My World. This is described as a purpley pink jelly brimming with orange to gold to green shifting iridescent flakes and a complementing orange to gold to green shifting iridescent shimmer. This is inspired by Rock Candy. Price is 13 and there is no cap on it. So this one, I had to really think about how I was going to describe this one. I think it's just one of those really complex shades that really is going to depend on the lighting that you're looking at this one. So I agree with the official description that it's a purpley pink base. So in indoor lighting, I've got the bottle right in front of me and I'm not sitting in front of my um, studio area. This is coming off more of a true purpley pink shade. However, note that when you are in bright lights um, or maybe even outdoor lighting, you're gonna see it lean a little bit more pink. So this is such a tricky little thing, but it is very pretty. And the flakes definitely help make that base color come off more pink or just a slight more purple tinge depending on your lighting. So this is complex, but at the end of the day, I'm gonna say it's a purpley pink with a touch more of a pinky type shade to it. So just take my word for it. Now for opacity on this one, I'm gonna suggest between two and three coats. Honestly, looking at the playback now, I probably could have stopped at that second coat, but I was feeling a little bit extra and I really, really wanted to get that base color to pop in my swatches. So I took it up to a third coat. And honestly, I think if you wear it either way, it'll be just fine. Um, but no issues from the flakes. Everything laid down nice and flat for me. In the, for the most part, when you're in indoor lighting, you're gonna get that really nice shimmery type of sparkle too across your nails. So really complex. If you're a pink lover, I'm gonna have to say, um, definitely wanna pick this one up. Um, it's complex, it's in your face. Um, pink purple lovers, this is definitely for you. And next, Cuticula is back with another power couple duo. We have her Limitless Quick Dry Glossy Top Coat, which is five free. And we have her Mic Drop Base Coat. And both of these are in the scent Sweet Escape, which is a candied effervescent concoction of pink lemon, citrone, candy strawberry, and lime zest with loads of sugar cane, followed with ripe berries. To me, I got quite a bit of a really sugary, sweet, really yummy smelling strawberry with a lemon to it. So um, I would kind of have to say that it smells to me like almost like a strawberry lemonade with definite hints of that sugar cane scent. And Cuticula also brings us Magically Delicious this month. We have a soft purple curly with gold, royal blue, fuchsia, and green metallic flakes, orange, bright pink, violet, and baby blue holographic micro flakes, and micro gold metallic flakes. This is inspired by Unicorn Bark, Price is 12 and there's a cap of 340 US and 10 UK bottles. 
So this has a, once again, curly-like formula to me. This is so much fun. It reminds me of little confetti pieces that you're seeing um, as those flakes apply to your nail. I really like how they're very prominent in the uh, colors that you're gonna see against that base. So for opacity on it, I'm gonna suggest between two and three coats. Now, I personally took it up to three coats on it, regardless of how you wear it. You're gonna get a really nice pond effect from those flakes too, as the base is really gonna let those flakes shine through and give you that really nice pond effect. So here on that third coat, you can see um, really nice plumping action happening. Like I said, two or three coats, and I think most will be just fine. So here I'm going in with the Limitless Top Coat and I'm doing a floating method with it. You'll wanna get a bead on that brush and just gently brush it down your nail and you'll get a really glossy-like appearance. Now I wanna note in case you are new to scented top coats like this, um, definitely don't smell the bottle directly. Just let it dry down on your hands for a few minutes and you'll get that lovely, lovely scent lingering there. Um, I normally have the scent last on my nail polish for roughly a day or two. And once again, I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of nail art with the Power Couple Duo. So I'm going in with, with the Mic Drop base coat and this is really lovely. It is ridge filling, it has a sticky adhesion to it for your polishes and it strengthens your nails. Personally, between swatching, I like to wear this at two coats on its own for protection while I'm cleaning around my house and whatnot. Um, Otherwise, wear it at one coat underneath your polish. So I did a little bit of nail art with it, inspired by what I was smelling with my nails. And here I'm going in with the floating method, once again over the nail art, to demonstrate that um, no smearing when doing this method, and you'll get really, really strong glossy powers with this one. And using the two together, you can definitely extend the wear of your manis. So the Power Couple Duo will be 16, and there is no cap on it. And DRK Nails brings us Raspberry in Blue. This is described as a blue jelly base mixed with red to gold to green iridescent flakes. This is inspired by Seven Bello, which is a Brazilian candy. Price is 13 and there's a cap of 200 US and 10 UK. So the formula to this one is quite a bit on the jelly-like side. I'm definitely going to give you a really nice pond effect as you build it up on your nails. I do agree with the official description that that base color is definitely a blue type of shade. Um, it is quite vibrant, though I want to note that I think the video is giving you a bit of a better representation of that base color um, than my swatches, which my lens focused up on those flakes, and I think it kind of uh, made that base color come off just a touch on the lighter side. So definitely refer to the video um, when picking and choosing what you're going to get. So I took it up to three coats. I was being a little extra with it, and I really wanted those flakes to pop. But honestly, looking back, I think I probably could have stopped at the second coat and you'll get a really strong glowing feeling from those iridescent flakes. They mostly come across as that pinky red type of appearance with green at very extreme angles. And DRK Nails also brings us too much fun. This is described as a multicolored mix of seven different iridescent pastel flakes. This is inspired by sprinkles over a Brigadiero, which is a Brazilian candy. Price is $12.50 and there is a cap of $150 US and $10 UK. So this one um, is a topper and I personally would probably wear a multicolored topper like this that has those lovely pastel iridescent flecks in it over white and you can see here it gives it just a little bit of a goldish type of tint to it though the cream that I'm wearing is an off-white but I still feel like it gave just a little bit of a tint but you'll get tons and tons of those flakes on the, just one coat over a cream polish and I think it looks very very lovely. And as Malthus de Kelly brings us her glitter smoothing duo. This is a glitter smoothing top coat duo. You start off with the glitter smoother which is the one I'm showing you guys here. And then you finish off with the glossy bottle, which is the second one here. Price on this one, on both of these are 15 for the duo and there is no cap on it. So she also brings us Skittles Original. This is described as a thermal polish that goes from clear to red, which is warm to cold, with matte glitters in red, orange, yellow, green, and purple. This is, is inspired by Original Skittles. Price is 12.50 and there is a cap of 300 US and 20 UK. So on this one, I'm going to suggest two, maybe three coats on it. I'm really going to depend on your nail length with this one. You get excellent, excellent glitter payoff with it on the brush stroke. So no need for fishing or anything like that. Um, this is legit Skittles in a bottle. It really reminds me of original Skittles so much. 
So when it's warm, you'll see this really nice clear type of shade. It's just a little bit tinted, but um, when you go over it with the Top Coat Duo, it's really nice. It almost reminds me of like those clear acrylic nails, really pretty, very glossy. And when it's cold, you'll get that nice reddish, which I'm gonna call it Skittles Red, um, when it's cold. So here I'm going in with the step one of the Glitter Smoothing Top Coat Duo. Um, this polish itself is quite thirsty for top coat, so it's really nice using this duo that you go in and with the milky based one, it kind of sets a foundation almost. It smooths everything out. It kind of fills in all of the little crevices from the glitters. And then you finish off the glossy top coat. And as you can see here, um, this part is quite a bit on the quick drying side. It's not the fastest drying. Um, so um, personally, I think just add a few more minutes into your wait time, but it's definitely worth it because it's very glossy and my nails are legit smooth to the touch even after wearing something very glitter heavy and texturing like this one. And then of course going in with the ice water you can see here, um, I was running quite warm so everything was real uh, in the warm state. And then going in and I, you can see it here, that is that Skittles Red. Really fun, really pretty. Um, the glitter payoff on this one was really, really impressive. And next we've got Fair Maiden. They bring us Limey Bean, described as a neon chartreuse packed with iridescent orange to green flake and shimmer. This is inspired by bright neon lemon lime jelly beans. Price is 11 and there is no cap on it. So this is fluorescent. This is a highlighter chartreuse. Um, it is lime green. It is so bright, so in your face. Um, the bottle itself, I'm looking at it right in front of me, it's practically fluorescent. It's like somebody cracked open a highlighter and put it in a bottle. It's fantastic, very bright. So on this one, I feel like the formula is more of a crelly type feel to it. It's got a bit of a squish to um, those brush strokes. Now for this one, I personally am gonna suggest three coats for it to really build it up and get full opacity with it. If you wear it at two coats, you'll get a bit of a softer feel, though the polish itself is still very, very loud. Um, I actually took my nails outside of my little lighting area just to make sure that I was seeing right. So definitely between two or three coats and I think you'll be good to go. So I personally don't think this one requires an undie for being so incredibly bright. It does just basically fluoresce and you can probably see it from space um, when you wear it, preferably at three coats, um, just my opinion. And here on the final shot, you can see I've got a glossy top coat on. This is so freaking bright, it's amazing. And Glisten and Glow brings us now and later. This is described as a white faced cr glitter crelly packed with various sizes and shapes of glitter in pink, purple, red, yellow, and neon green. This is inspired by Jill's favorite childhood candy, Now and Laters. Price is $12.50 and there's a cap of $250 US and 15 UK bottles on it. So this does definitely have a Crelly-like feel, true to the description. You get excellent glitter payoff on this one too. I am really digging these multicolored glitters. They're some of my absolute weaknesses for Crellys. Um, I just really enjoy just how fun and confetti-like they appear. So on now and later, I'm gonna suggest between two and three coats, though honestly, I think two coats, you'll be good to go. Let that first layer dry down a little bit, which is maybe a minute or two tops, and you'll use that first layer to really pack in that second coat. So really, really nice. No need whatsoever for fishing or anything like that. So honestly, give your bottle a good shake like I do, and I think you'll be just fine. Here on the final hand shot, I've got a glossy top coat. Um, I'm actually using Glisten and Glow's top coat here, and I have no texture. And we also have the matching scent in the cuticle remover and cuticle oil pen duo that is um, also scented in Now and Later, which is a custom blend of strawberry, fruit punch, apple, and grape. Now this is going to be 12 for the duo and is capped at 180 US and 15 UK. I have been using the cuticle oil pen quite a bit since I got it in my package. It smells awesome. I mostly get a strawberry scent from it, um, but definitely smells like a now and later. It's awesome. It's got that nice candy undertone to it. It's very fruity. It's not overpowering. It's just right and pleasant on the nail. So I digress about the scent because it smells good. When you use the cuticle remover, you apply generously to your cuticles and then wait about 60 seconds and then 
go in with your favorite tool. I personally like to use a glass orange stick and I go in and gently just rub up against my cuticles, pushing things back and also picking up that extra skin while I'm at it. And then of course you want to finish off with washing your hands very well with soap and water. Of course here in the oiling shot here, I showed you guys I have filed, I've trimmed any hangnails that were present and now I'm going in with the cuticle oil and you wanna make sure, I cannot recommend it enough, you want your nails to be nice and bendy from that oil. It definitely helps with not breaking and all that good stuff. And you can see here in the final shot, everything is clean and professional looking. And next we have Lemming Lacquer. She brings us peanut butter chocolate thyme. Described as a milk chocolate hollow with multi-chrome shimmer shifting in red, bronze, copper, and gold. Inspired by Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. The price on this one will be 12 and there's a cap of 250 bottles on it. So this has a very rich, rich formula on it. It's really flirting in my opinion with being a one coater. It's very smooth on application very satisfying on the brush strokes. Honestly, I'm gonna suggest going in with two thin coats for this one, you'll have full coverage and really nice plumping factor with it. I really dug this formula, this is fantastic. So in person, you'll get a lovely type of copperish type of bronzish type of glow from it. It's really popping against that chocolatey base. It definitely de deepens and vampens out about second coat. Now this one does dry down a little bit on the flat side, so personally, I'm gonna recommend a glossy top coat just to really make that hollow and that shimmer really shine. And next we have Night Owl Lacquer. She brings us Candy Coated. This is described as a bright indigo curly filled with iridescent color shifting crystal chameleon flakes. This is inspired by brightly colored candy coating. Price is $12.50 and there is no cap on it. So those of you who saw my fandom flakies video, I raved about the little iridescent flakes that were in the background of that polish. I'm not 100% sure, but I think these are them and I'm so excited to see them again as they are crazy iridescent and really popping against that base color. So for this one, I'm gonna suggest three thin coats on it. Though those of you who um, have somewhat shorter nails than what I've got in the video, you might be able to get away with two coats on it. Though personally, I found that at three coats, it just really popped on those flakes. I love them to pieces. It really, really just reminded me of um, like a unicorn effect. Very nice. I had no issues with the flakes. Everything laid down nice and flat for me. Um, and I got excellent payoff from them too on the brush strokes here. So on the third coat, you can see that plumping factor starting to happen. Now I wanna note that the base color here is coming out somewhat color accurate to what I'm seeing in person. This is definitely a bright indigo. Um, it might be just a shade or two, just a slightest little bit darker in person, um, but it is still very vibrant and really, really popping with those flakes. And after top coating, I had no texture. And next we've got polish. She brings us Mochi Meow, described as a pale gray with a ton of glowing pink to soft gold shifting shimmer, inspired by edible Mochi Kittens. Price is 13 and there is no cap on it. When I got my PR info for this one, I was so insanely excited because that little rescue kitty that I'm always somewhat complaining and um, adoring on my videos that is usually being pretty loud in the background. Um, we named her Mochi and she is gray. So I was so super geeked for this. Um, this polish is gorgeous and I, in my head, is a custom for her. So I digress. Um, I could talk about that cat for days, you guys. So on this one, the formula is very crelly like though it has a very strong creamy like feel on application. For opacity, I'm gonna suggest three thin coats on it to really exploit that shimmer. This has a strong self-leveling factor to it. Um, really lovely formula. Now it does dry down a little bit on the flat side, so personally to really exploit that shimmer, I would recommend a um, really glossy top coat and I think you'll be just fine. The base color to this one is a bit warm. I do feel like it is quite a bit on the neutral side, though I felt like it flattered me very well um, and really popped, especially that shimmer. So I feel like on my skin tone, it definitely leaned um, quite a bit or more on the neutral side, almost like a taupe, um, but still very pretty, um, like an amped up neutral. And Penelope Luz brings us Apple Love. This is described as a deep, cool toned, vampy red base and with shimmery, warm red, red magnetic pigment and some scattered hollow. This is inspired by a popular Brazilian tree or candy apples. 
price is 12 and there is no cap on it so this is a magnetic polish and I'm doing things a little bit different um, I do insanely enjoy recording my party trick of having the magnet under my nails but I wanted to be a little bit different this month and also show you guys what this was going to look like unmagnetized um, so I'm going to go in with that um, special top coat that released a few months ago in polish pickup so um, you'll see that in just a moment so the performance of this one is very much flirting with being a one coater. The formula is very rich, very easy to use. For being so insanely pigmented, I didn't have any problems with cleanup as you can see here on my cuticles. Now I'm going in with that um, ma Magic Magnetic Top Coat. I'm not sure if it's going to come back to polish pickup. I do recommend picking it up because it does work. Here you can see I'm going in with a thinner magnet here. This is a magnet from uh, the brand Vanessa Molina and you can see that really nice pigmented line very very lovely now this one um, definitely has a very strong movement with those magnetic particles really nice silvery type of red appearance and that brand also brings us sweet and shine this is an effect topper that's a clear base with medium silver magnetic pigment galaxy gold glitters and little iridescent flakes the price on this one is 12 and there is no cap on it so I'm um, true to me wanting to be a little bit different and wore bases that I would actually wear with a topper. I chose a nice medium purple so you guys can see a nice contrast between that goldish effect and that silvery magnetic pigment. So once again, I'm being a little bit different this month and again using that magic top coat so you guys can see what it will look like as a regular topper. I'm going in generously with it and you can see here with a thinner magnet that really nice silver line that you get from this. I think this topper is really cool. I really like how the magnetic particles to this one are silvery, kind of matching almost with that red polish that I just showed you guys. But the rest of the nail has that really strong confetti-like appearance from those multicolored flakes. And Poetry Calgore Polish brings us Peppermint Stick. This is a minty green base packed with red to gold shifting shimmer and a hint of red to gold Aurora pigment. This is inspired by red and green candy canes. Price is 12 and there is a to be announced cap on it. So this has a very jelly-like formula to me. Personally for opacity, I'm gonna suggest three thin coats on it. It is of the um, softer type, more delicate feel on the final look. So definitely note that um, if a free edge does bother you, I would suggest a somewhat color correcting base coat um, of that nature. But the shimmer in this one is quite strong. When you build it up, you'll see that really nice reddish type appearance for the most part. Um, at very extreme angles, I did see just a touch of that greenish goldish appearance, um, but I would say it's a little bit more on the subtle side, mostly because of that base color. So you'll readily see mostly that reddish sh shimmer effect to it. So here on that third coat, you can see really nice plumping action happening with it. Um, I feel like on those first two coats, I took it quite a bit on the thinner side. And on that third coat, I, I went in just normal, like how I would normally polish. And you can see here, it's got really nice self-leveling properties to it. And it dries down nice and plump and wonderful. This also does dry down just a little bit on the flat side. So again, I'd recommend a glossy top coat just to really have that shimmer pop. And Pretty Beautiful Unlimited brings us Melts in Your Mouth. This is a purple to blue to pink trithermal loaded with glowing indigo to purple aurora shimmer and a mix of three crystal chameleon flakies. Inspired by pink and purple M&Ms, price is $11.50 and there is a cap of $150 US and $10 UK. So the formula on this is definitely, in my opinion, a jelly. It does dry down quite a bit on the somewhat matte very flat side so on this I'm also going to suggest a glossy top coat for opacity on it between two and three coats though personally I took it to two coats and I thought it plumped out very well um, and definitely um, gives me that little bit of double guessing myself for opacity as it's transitioning crazy quick crazy fast on my nails I think two coats and most are gonna be just fine on this so the flakes in this are um, in a variety of sizes Here you can see with the ice water, those three shades here. Now my husband was actually seasoning a cast iron skillet in the kitchen and so it was really, really warm. So please note there is definitely three color changes to this one. And Pretty Beautiful Unlimited also brings us a, another, another wax sampler this month. This month's sampler will come in this really cute little mesh bag um, due to supply issues and whatnot, but I really love these bags so I think it's just awesome like this too. 
So you'll get 15 cents in this, including blue raspberry candy, bubblegum, grape airheads, gummy bears, jelly beans, all that good stuff, along with the little scent card to give you the descriptions of each scent. Price on this one is eight, and there's a cap of 150 US and 10 UK. This literally smells like a candy shop. It's awesome. Um, the scents in here are on point. I'm still melting some of last month's scents, and I gotta say, I'm really digging the throw that she has for each of these samplers. Um, I have one wax warmer in my living room and one in an adjacent room to it, and I really like mixing up the scents um, just to keep things real fresh, and so each room I walk into, I get a different smell. So this one's really fun, really awesome, and really on point. And next we have Quixotic Polish. She, she brings us Delicioso. This is described as a deep maroon base, giving way to a steel blue shimmer that shifts from purple to magenta and even, and even orange at extreme angles. This is inspired by purple and blue gummy bears. Price is 13 and there is a to be announced cap on it. This is insanely, insanely shifty in person. It's got a wonderful formula to it. It's very creamy and smooth on the nail. For the most part, I think everyone's gonna be fine at two coats with the caveat that, of course, if you've got very much longer nails, um, you might need a third coat, but it's got such a lovely formula to it. So the shift on this is so very obvious in bright lights and indoor lighting. You'll get that nice steelish bluish effect in the center of your nail. And there's a very, very easy color roll over to a deep purple and at extreme angles, you'll see a glowing magenta. It's very, very pretty. Um, after I swatched this one, I wore it around my place for a little bit just to really see if I can get all that color roll and if it was just as awesome in the bright lights as it was outside. And I can safely say, yes, it is. So if you're a multi-chrome lover, um, you're definitely gonna need this one. And Supernatural Lacquer brings us all treats, no tricks. Proceeds from this polish will be donated to Harvest for the Hungry. This is described as a spooky black base with orange to green Halloween shimmer. This is inspired by Halloween candy, price is $11.50, and there's a cap of $75 US and $5 UK. So this has a very smooth jelly-like feel on application. However, you'll see here in just a moment, it builds up very quickly on the nail. Um, normally when I swatch polishes like this with this type of shimmer, I feel like I just can't do them justice very well. So again, please refer to the video for really nice representation of that shimmer. It's very prominent and very obvious in person. In bright lights and indoor lighting, you'll get that nice orange glow from it. You can easily see the shimmer particles as in my opinion, they are of the slightly larger variety and at angles, you'll easily see a lovely green shift to it. So very pleasant. You can see here on that second coat, I've got really nice opacity with it, though I took it up just one more coat just to really plump it out. So this one's really gonna depend on your preference for opacity, whether you wear it at two or three coats. So here you can see it's got really smooth feeling from it. So yes, I would classify this personally as a jelly, but it still builds up very nice and very easily across the nail in, in a really smooth like fashion. Here on the full hand shot, once again, I've got a glossy top coat on, and I think you can really see that shimmer goodness happening with it. And last but not least, we've got Vapid. She brings us candy paint. Described as a magenta pink color, dripping with flakes, shimmer, and holographic mist. This is inspired by the candy colors that custom cars and classic muscles are adorned with. Price to be announced, and the cap on this one is 400 US and 20 UK. This one has a curly-like feel to me on application. It has lovely, lovely opacity. Really, really pops like crazy um, and just builds up crazy fast on the nail. So you can see here on that first coat, I'm getting a really lovely mix of those scattered flakes across the nail. This is one of those types of magenta shades I think are gonna be flattering on just about any skin tone. It's very, very vibrant, very pretty. And as you build it up, especially on that second coat here, you can really see it. That shimmer comes off as a really lovely purpley type of glow with it too. And you can see, once again, I've got a bit of a pond effect from the flakes. However, it's still very, very much opaque on that second coat. So I think I was good to go on that really lovely formula. Here on the final shot, once again, I've got a glossy top coat on, no texture or anything like that, just really lots of awesome glowiness to it.
So Polish Pickup will open up for wishlisting probably Sunday or Monday of this week. I'm hoping at the time that I post this video, it will be Saturday. So I'm, I wanted to get a little bit ahead of the curve this time. And the shop will be opening up for actual shopping May 1st at 10 a.m. Eastern time and will run until May 4th at 11.59 p.m. Eastern time. I will break all of this down below and I'll link you guys below to Polish Pickup's site. I'm not sure, once again, if wishlisting is going to be open at the time I get this video up, um, but keep an eye out. I'm pretty sure it's going to be this Sunday. And of course, as usual, I'm always asking. One of my favorite things is reading your comments. For some reason, my phone is not notifying me when I'm getting comments on YouTube and it's kind of driving me a little batty. So if I haven't responded to you or um, normally I like to heart your comments if I've read them and or respond back to them. So I do apologize about that. If I've left you hanging, that is not my intent. Um, I don't really know how to fix that. I want to get my notifications back, um, but I'm trying to figure out how to do that. I'm having to go through each video individually um, to see comments. Definitely sign up below. What are you guys going to get this month? What are you excited for? I personally am going to have to curve down my wish listing. It's amazing. This month is phenomenal. I love it. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please give me a subscribe. Um, thank you guys so, so much for your support. And thank you so, so much for watching.